Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Naninga Kwe and stay tuned. We're going to do a very bold eye and lip look and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. You know in this channel we love stepping out of our comfort zone. So I'm starting off my face with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm starting with the setting powder and as you know there are so many roads that lead to the same destination so in different methods can lead to a really good result when it comes to makeup let nobody fool you that you have to use your a brush you have to use what even if you use your fingers you will reach that destination don't take too much powder like me I nearly choked on this powder so just take a reasonable amount and make sure that you blend it all out well Next, I'm just taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 352, which is Truffle, and I'm just applying it all over my face using a brush. Make sure to always blend your foundation nicely and make sure that you blend it all the way to your neck. It's just that I'm in a turtle, furry turtle neck, so I can't blend it all the way. <laughs> Now I'm just taking the LA Girl HD Primer in the color white, it's an eyeshadow primer and I'm just applying it all over my eyes and I'm also going to take a brush as you can see and I'm going to blend out that eyeshadow base until it, it has an even surface so that your eyeshadow doesn't kick. And now I'm just taking the Miss Rose Matte Palette and I'm just taking this neon pink shade. And I'm going to apply that neon pink shade in the crease of my eye all the way to the outer corner of my eye. Now Miss Rose is a really, really cheap, it's not even affordable, it's a really cheap brand. But I love this uh, matte palette that they have. The only downside to this palette is that it has lots of bits of powder falling off from your eyes and whatever. It's powdery in short. Next, I'm just taking the LA Colors Circus palette and I'm just taking that neon pink eyeshadow that you've seen. This, uh, this palette is a glittery metallic palette, so I'm just applying it below my eyebrows on my brow bone to highlight that area. And then of course we have to take a brush and blend it all out because this is not a cut crease. So we are just going to blend those two shades together so that they can blend into each other. I'm not just taking the, the shade D5, which is a dark blue shade from the Novena palette, and I'm just applying it strictly in the outer corner of my eye. So I'm making sure to pack that color in the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going back to the LA Colors Circus Palette and I'm taking that light blue shade which is a metallic shade and I'm applying it. Yeah, so I'm applying it on the eyelid but just in the inner corner of the eyelid and I'm not reaching all the way to the crease of the eye. I'm just applying it on the lower part of the eyelid. So here I'm just going back in with that Circus uh, pink, pink shade that uh, was used for highlighting. I, take, I took a little so I'm just trying to like add more. Using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Phone, I'm just concealing and basically high contouring my face here. 
So contouring usually depends on the shape of your face, but I'm just going to use the ordinary contour method. Although it's definitely not for my face because I already have a like high cheekbones and stuff. I'm supposed to be like reverse contouring. But for this case, we are just going to use the normal method of contouring. And I'm just taking a brush and I'm patting that concealer in. And of course we can't forget our trusted beauty blender now so of course i'm using this beauty blender to blend everything in in and especially when you have cases where you have fallout of eyeshadow like the, like the case of this uh, miss rose eyeshadow it has a lot of fallout i just use the beauty blender to pick out pick up those pieces that have fallen out and then i concealed so basically you can use it like to pick up um things on your face then I'm just taking the Sasha Buttercup using the Beauty Blender. And I'm just applying it in the areas that have concealed and I'm just patting it all over to set the, the concealer. Next I'm using the Maybelline Chrome Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold and I'm just applying it on my lips, on my cupid's bow to highlight the lips. Next I'm just taking this Too Faced Cosmetics Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Who's Zooming Who which is a blue shade, a dark blue shade. And I'm just going to apply it all over my lips. No mixing shades today. Make sure to get rid of all the setting powder that you applied on your face and I'm just using a brush to do that. And then I'm just taking the Maybelline Mega Colossal Volume Express Mascara in the shade black and I'm just applying it on my lower eyelids. And for contour I'm just taking an eyeshadow, a dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just using it to contour my nose. And I'm using the Maybelline Molten Gold, yeah, Molten Gold Highlighter. It's called the Maybelline Master Chrome Molten Gold Highlighter. And I am applying it on my nose, as you can see, and at the tip of my nose. My nose is crooked, guys. I broke my nose, so um, it's usually a bit tricky, like, to apply the, the highlighter or whatever. It ends up, like, a bit crooked. But get, always remember, guys, when it comes to makeup, it's just a matter of like enjoying otherwise it's like painting you can end up with complete rubbish but if you enjoy the process it will turn out to be amazing so this is the final look guys tell me what you think about it in the uh, comment section below i absolutely enjoyed making this video and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching